What the fuck is up? Guys, it is Jay, more than after kill, and I got a second Gotham City Imposters video for you today. And I know you guys are going to be like, God damn, Morning, what the fuck is another Gotham City Imposters video going up today? Well, I'm a little bit excited because I opened Steam. Guess what happened on Steam? It said Gotham City Imposters is updated. And I was like, what the fuck is that? So it updated, and the only thing that updated really was the fucking PNG files on there that showed me that Gotham City Imposters is now free to play on Steam. What? Ha <laughs> ha! Two days after I made my video talking about Gotham City Imposters is going free to play, I actually made my video before a lot of these news sites were uh, offering the cracked files for Gotham City going free to play, so I feel fucking pretty good about that, that my fucking speculations were 100% on target, the same way they were with the fucking uh, Rodeo Pirate Pack and the uh, other DLC with the 25th floor. I was uh, pretty on point with that, so... Alright, let's talk about what the implications are for Steam free to play Gotham City Imposters. Now, number one, first thing you're going to think is, this game is advertised on Steam as free to play. Is it going to be new servers? I don't think so. Even though I haven't loaded it up yet, I'm pretty sure that they're not going to want to separate people on Steam and people that bought the game for Windows Live and then have to re-download a fucking all-new DLC and shit. But we'll talk about the DLC in just a second. But people that already have the game with the DLC that they purchased and everything, I don't think that they'll fucking go ahead and start recoding the game and putting in new servers, which I would love to because games for Windows Live is a fucking train wreck, especially when I first downloaded Gotham City Imposters for Steam, and I saw that when I was opening it, it said games for Windows Live, it was kind of like Darth Vader from Episode 3, I was like, no, <laughs> but yeah, uh, games for Windows Live is a train wreck, it's pretty shitty, but hopefully, with the free-to-play update, there's going to be some type of fixes to this game because the PC is one that we wanted them to concentrate on forever because people weren't even able to play it. There is a large portion of the community that was having problems with the uh, Steam version, well, GCI, on the PC. is a... Uh, 100% pretty cool that they're actually fucking focusing on this side of the community right now. And I do believe that PC is the first, uh, the ones that really, really demand an update. They, they deserve it more than, uh, Xbox and PS3 right now. Because you still can play the Xbox and the PS3 version is pretty fucking solid. Other than the stat wipes, which shouldn't really happen, but we've already talked about that. Not the topic of the commentary. Not gonna go into that. But we're talking about it being free to play. So we've already talked about it being on servers and shit that aren't fucking free to, uh, that aren't fucking games for Windows Live. <laughs> My words get all twisted up. I'm all fucking excited here and shit like that. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> shit. So, are we going to be seeing any new DLC because the game's now free? I think we are. I think we're going to see maybe a new support item, another gadget and a weapon like we usually do, a couple fun facts, and maybe another map. And that would be 100% awesome because they were saying that there's going to be new content coming to GCI at PAX. And one thing that I did skip over is the fact that it says you'll be able to play this at PAX. I didn't really take that into too much consideration. I just figured, you know, their PAX update was going to be free to play. But now that they're making it free to play, I do think it does make a lot of sense to offer new content that people can buy. Not only just because, uh, you know, there's people coming into the game, they want to be on equal level footing with the goddamn uh, Witch Doctor. But they're also coming out with a pack of the DLC where it's all bundled together. And with this being only 5 bucks per DLC, that means 3 DLCs would be uh, $15. I think if they gave it a nice little discount, they'd be like, buy the pack for fucking $12. You get all 3 DLCs. DLCs, and then you get also fucking, you know, the free DLC, which would be the Cake Maker and the goddamn Falcon Blade, which makes a lot of fucking sense. But also, what I do think that there's going to be in the game, I think you're going to be able to buy custom classes. I think that makes a lot of sense. Everybody's been saying, we need more loadout slots. We need this. We need that. I think we're going to get more loadout slots as a purchasable DLC for people that already bought the game. I think that they're going to already open up some of these DLCs for you guys. So if you did buy the game and you fucking had this game for a while, I think maybe you'll probably get like a community calling card. I think you'll probably get the next DLC either free or discounted. But I also do think that they'll probably give you more custom loadout slots. Now why am I saying custom loadout slots? Where the fuck is this coming from? That's just that's my speculation. That is my opinion on what I think we're going to be getting. Because it just makes sense so many people were asking for this. Why wouldn't they offer more custom loadout slots as a DLC in a free-to-play game? The object of a free-to-play game is to suck people in, get them addicted with the gameplay that's free, and then fucking get them to buy the other shit that you're offering. And when some people play this game, they're going to realize that the one thing that everybody says is we need more custom loadout slots. 
So they'll be like, all right, you know what? A dollar per loadout slot. Fucking buy five extra, get them for four bucks. Bundle package right there. Boom. Easy four dollars for every person that downloaded this motherfucking game. Then you put in the fact that you can't uh, combat the Witch Doctor unless you have Well Grounded. A lot of people are using the Witch Doctor, especially people that already have the game. They're going to want to trance on all these fucking noobs. So they're going to be pulling out the Witch Doctor, which they don't have. It's going to force them to buy the DLC again right there. And why buy the regular DLC when you can buy the bundle pack? So right there is already $16 worth of DLC sold just because they downloaded a game that's free to play. And I think that's a smart way to go about it. The only thing that I do have a little bit of an iffy thing is you can already see it on the forums right now. As I'm making this video, there are already people coming on here, especially the PC players. They feel like they've been slighted yet again, especially when uh, Team Fortress 2 went free to play. And the only thing they really gave out were like fucking, I think it was a hat or some shit like that. A lot of people felt slighted for that, but then they saw the influx of new players coming in that didn't really know much about the game. And then they started fucking them up and having fun and kicking ass. And they're like, you know what? Free to play is not so bad because now you got a lot of people coming into the game that don't know how to play. And it's going to bring your original fun factor up because they're really bad. They're not, they don't know the ins and outs of the game. They don't know how the game actually fucking works. So yeah, I do think that the enjoyment level factor of this game, for those people that already bought the game, is going to go up just because of the fact that there's going to be brand new players coming in that don't know how to play, and it's going to be a lot of e easy times fucking kick taking them down, kicking their hands. <laughs> so yeah, let's recap what I said. GCI is free to play on the PC. Now I think it's going to be coming to Xbox and PS3 too. Uh, that remains to be seen. But... I, they also do have a, a confirmed DLC pack where everything's put together, and I do think that we're going to see one more DLC with the map, weapon, support item, whatever the fuck they decide to put in there, with some fun facts and shit. And also, people that already had the game, you know what? Enjoy the influx of really easy to kill people. The PS3 people have been enjoying the PSN noobs. So, you know what? Now it's time for the PC players to get it. So, let's just hope that we get one more update to fix the matchmaking and shit like that. And uh, everybody can enjoy Gotham City Imposters for free on the PC. So, my name's Jay. More than after kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to see you guys later. I also think we'll see a booster pack for weapon keys, attachments, unlocks, uh, just because people have been asking for that too, because you don't get everything unlocked in the game until you get to level 1000, and I do think that we're going to see booster packs similar to how Battlefield Bad Company 2 was.